What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to work on different levels to add exterior walls, interior walls, and a corridor to our project. So our objectives are, we are going to add exterior walls by drawing them using selected points. And we are also going to add interior walls to the lower level using the wall tool. And then we are going to use trim extend tool to create an opening for a door okay so the first part is let's create our exterior walls so let's continue our exercise from last video we have learned how to create our uh, grids so for this video so there's just an uh, added points here that we can use as our guide to create our walls okay so let's create our wall so let's go to the architecture tab and then let's use the wall tool here so let's click the wall and then after that from the properties let's look for a basic exterior wall okay so basic basic exterior render on brick on block okay so let's use this one okay and then after that, you can see here our options bar. So after you select the wall tool, so let's modify our uh, options bar. So we're going to leave it as a height. But what we want is we want from a, a foundation level, we are going to create our wall up to level 3 lower parapet. So we're going to select this. So what happens is, from zero foundation level, we are going to create our wall up to zero three lower parapet level. And aside from that, I'm going to change here the location line, the justification of our wall when we create it, the location line. So let's change this. I'm going to make it finish face exterior. And then since we're going to make a continuous wall, so make sure the chain here is checked. So we're not going to add some radius and offset here. So let's start. So I'm going to start at point 1. So I'm going to pick here, point 1, up to 18. Okay, so 1, here's the 2, 3, or up to 18 okay all right if you made a mistake so that's okay you just need to turn on again the wall tool or maybe you can delete the wrong wall and then start creating your wall again just do the same procedure, just follow the numbering. Eighteen up to one here. There you go. Okay. So let's select here modify to terminate uh, our tool. Okay. So this one is in the floor plan. So let's check that one out in 3D view. So default 3D. So from zero foundation up to a zero three parapet level. So as you can see, zero foundation up to zero three lower parapet. Okay, so this is now how it looks like. So let me go back again to floor plan. So if you want to see the two views side by side, the foundation and then the 3D view. So what you can do, go to the view and then look for tile views. Click that. And then you will see the 3D view and then the floor plan side by side. Okay. So now the next thing that I'll be doing, I'm going to modify the exterior wall. Okay. So I'll be doing that here in the 3D view. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to right click the tile views here. And then I want to add that to the quick access toolbar because I always use that one. And tab views as well. So right click add to quick access toolbar tab use 
if you want to maximize let's say your 3d view or your floor plan view just click the tab views let's say for example here in my 3d view i activate the 3d view and then i'm going to select tab views so it will now maximize that view all right so let's work here on our uh, 3d view so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the walls in the corner so i'm going to i'm gonna use window selection like this okay and then hold control and then use window selection release control pan your drawing uh, hold control window selection and window selection all right so after we selected these uh, corners so we are going to change the height of this the top constraint so from the properties let us change here the top constraint so currently it is up to level three right so i'm going to change this up to level four and see what will happen there you go so it's now adjusted up to level four there you go okay so now the next thing that i'll be doing is i'm going to select the two walls here this one and then this one hold control again and then click click one hold control click the other one all right and then we are going to adjust this one all right so for this, I'm going to change the property for that one for the base offset. So I want to adjust the base offset from 0. I want that to be 4,250. Enter. And there you go. So it's now adjusted. So now the next thing that I'll be doing, I'm going to add interior walls. So for me to do that, I'm going to open 01 store floor. So let's double click that. And then let's use our wall tool let's go back again to architecture let's select the wall tool and then this time we are going to change the properties to interior interior 138 mm partition one hour so let's click this and i want to change here just double check the options here height this one is 03 and then um, this time i'm gonna change my location line i'll just use wall center line a while ago we use a uh, finished face exterior so this time let's use the wall center line so let's click this okay and then we are now going to create so for this one i'll just uh create the walls here without uh exact uh model or distances so i'll just create it so using the line tool again Make sure the chain is checked and let us now create our wall so the exact placement for this exercise is not uh, critical so let us just create it okay so let's say i want this up to up to here so as you can see my pointer is at the center of the wall because our location line is wall center line so i'm going to place it here there you go and then i'm going to escape once so that the place wall tool will not be totally terminated so just escape once if you escape twice the wall tool will be terminated so you need to select again the wall okay so just escape once there you go so i still have the wall so i'm going to add another wall maybe somewhere here okay and then somewhere here there you go and then along C, or not along C, but near C, I'm going to place it here. There you go. And then I'm going to add another wall here, here, here. There you go. And then maybe up to here, to here, and somewhere here. Okay, then I'm going to escape let's go to modify let me show you how to use trim extend single element so let's click this so you need to select first your reference because what i want to do i want to extend this wall up to this wall here okay so using this tool you need to select first the uh, extents or the 
wall where you want this wall to be connected so i want this one okay so my boundary and then you select now the wall that you want to extend click there you go okay so that's uh how you do it so let's say you want to remove this wall here okay so you can use the other option trim extend to corner let's click that select the two sides that you want to remain that one and there you go so that's how you use it okay so i'm going to create another wall but this time instead of using the wall tool here i'm going to select this wall because this is the same wall that i would like i would like to create so just right click and then let's use another option create similar so it will create the same type of wall so that's another option instead of going to architecture selecting the wall here okay so you can also use uh create similar so you click the wall right click and then create similar and let's say i want to place it here up to here okay and then uh, i'm going to select modify let's click this wall let's extend it somewhere here and then right click create similar pick here and then connect here so there you go okay so this is now my uh, interior wall so let's say i want to create an opening here okay you want to create an opening so let's go to the modify i'm going to show you how to use the split split element okay so let's click that and then let's break this wall here there you go anywhere between these two wall you can pick here you can pick here as long as it is between this two wall here and then let's use the trim here trim extend to corner so let's pick the two sides that you want to remain the two sides that you want to remain there you go there's now your uh, opening okay so let's check this one out in the 3d view and there you have it so there's now your interior walls okay so that's it for this simple exercise if you have any comments questions and suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can on our next video, I'm going to show you how to create a terrain and building pad. Okay, that's for now. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.